Hey you there, do you know about polyester clear cast resin? Please help. Basically, first time I've tried this, uh, I've, I've done a lot of research into resin and casting and different sorts of things, so I do understand how it's all supposed to work, and I know I'm doing it roughly correctly. Uh, this is what I'm using, which is a polyester clear cast resin with its hardener. Seems to work okay, um, generally, as in it goes off. I never intended this to be anything particularly nice, it was just used as a practice, just to see how things go. Now from a distance this actually looks quite sort of clear, but actually on closer inspection... Can you see the... ah there you go, perfect, you can see the grazing I was getting. Now, and also I know I went wrong there, I should have cast more first to embed it. Um, but yeah, it's this, this is what problem I'm having, it's that. I don't know what's causing it. Now, I thought, could it be I'm not mixing the resin and the hardener well enough, so I really, 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 really mixed it, and I still got it to a point. Um, I reduced the amount of hardener. Uh, it says 2% on my instructions, but I used it just a little bit under that, and I also left them for days. I was using this sort of ice cream tray mould, the silicon ones, because these seem to work quite well. On the early ones, I wasn't using mould release, and yeah, they didn't go so well. Okay, so my last batch, I was like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the living hell out of the uh, out of the resin. And I'm also going to use mould release, because I hadn't used mould release before, so I've just got a silicon mould release, which seemed to help. Certainly wasn't so sticky to get them out of the, the moulds. I also tried, uh, I've got some different silicon moulds, if you can see here. And these were the last four things that I made. So let's have a quick look. Now, one, you can tell because there's a fingerprint on the top of that one. It's still a bit soft on the surface. Uh, so I don't really know what to do about this. This is the main problem, is this softness. But also, I mean, if it was just, the, if it was just that softness on the surface, I suppose I could spray them or use some sort of thing on it. But I'm still getting these marks. Now this one's pretty close to being okay, but the more I handle it, the duller it's looking because of the finish on it. Um, this one, as you can see, is really bad on the sides. Fine on that side, fine on most of that side, but not around that side. So, could it be I didn't clean the mould properly last time? I don't think so, because it looks the same every single time, but I've, I've used hot water and detergent and really cleaned them out. In fact, I've got one now that I'm going to try another test casting with even less hardener and see if that improves things. I think this is possibly the best one, uh, finish wise, because look, the top's nice, sides are nice, this is one corner. Or maybe it's two corners, that's no, two corners. Actually no, the best actual, the best one that's turned out the very best with no issues is this tiny little cube that I did with uh, ball bearings in it. You see, all the surfaces on this are absolutely fine. This bit of resin here is extra I had that I pulled out um, just to, to you know use it as a test to see how it went and this it was sticky at first so I left them and I waited till it hardened and it, it feels good it feels smooth but as you can see you can still leave fingerprints all over it and I don't get it help what am I supposed to do where am I going wrong also I know some people have said this to me say can't you just poly um, sand and polish this sort of stuff. Yes you can, but if I'm going to be making things from it, I need it to cast properly first time. I can't, I haven't got time to be polishing this stuff because it's really difficult to get back to the same mirror finish. I've tried keeping the moulds cooler by putting it in an ice bath because I was told if it gets too hot that can cause the problem. That didn't seem to improve it. I was told to leave it outside because they think the UV helps to cure it. That didn't solve the problem. Um, it seems to take like three days for this to, to set fully on the outside. It gels in like 15 minutes, it goes hard within a day, easy, but it seems to take three days for the surface to cure a bit more and even then it's still got that softness and it's really, really annoying. So yeah, any advice, any tips, I would be really appreciative of that from anyone who's actually got experience in doing this. If you know anyone that does this sort of thing, please let me know. Because I'm a bit stuck. I'm close to giving up. Oh, and before people say, oh, use epoxy instead, it costs four times as much. I don't think I can bring myself to do it. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you know anything about this and you can help me, please let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it. Bye-bye. <laughs>
This channel is made possible by the support of the audience. Please check out the links in the description and all the different ways you can help support the channel. Any help is greatly appreciated.